Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video talking specifically about how the direction to home arrow works in iNav. Now there is an arrow you can see here at the top of the screen that points back to where you have been armed, but it's not always obvious exactly how that works. And Andy here, one of my Patreons, wasn't completely convinced he understood exactly how it does work. So I thought I'd make a quick video because sometimes these things are much easier to show rather than tell. Now, the way the direction to home arrow works, it kind of does what it says on the tin. So the arrow in the on-screen display is always pointing back to the location that it was armed. Now, there are different ways that you can set it up, but by default, when you arm the model as you stood in the field before you throw it, that is stored in iNav. And that's usually, you can see it here in this brief image, this little dot by the side of the distance to home information is basically showing me that is where home is. And once it's stored, you see the little home location. And then as I throw the plane, you see the arrow is actually pointing backwards or towards where I thrown it. So let me show you very quickly a little bit of a diagram to help you understand what's going on. So here we have a home location and we have a plane that's just been thrown. Now the plane it's actually recording the home location. It knows where it is. And because of the way that GPS coordinates work, it can figure out where it is in relation to that home. So if I go on to the next one, and we imagine that we then fly this path around and behind ourselves as we start our flight, if we actually put the direction to home arrows on here, then this is what it's going to happen. As it flies away, the arrow is going to be pointing backwards towards the home location. As we gently turn to the right, the arrow is going to move slightly, but the arrow is always pointing back to the home location. However, the arrow is going to be the right way around in the on-screen display. So we have tried to then do it so that it kind of shows you how it looks in the OSD. It gets a bit tricky. So probably the easiest way to do this is for me to just run the video and actually show you how it works in a live situation. This video here is the one from my recent Reptile 2 maiden flight. So what we have here, this is the on-screen display reconstituted from all the walk snail information. I'm using the latest versions of everything, which is why I have my logo displayed. This is the GPS information, my speed, my height, my variometer. And up here, I have a heading rose. This is the direction to home arrow. This thing here is the thing that we're interested in. This is my distance to that home location. Now, if I just back it up very slightly so that we, we, we start at the very beginning, we can see here that before I launch it, because it's kind of just stored everything, we have a zero distance in feet to the home location because I'm actually at the home location. And we see we have a little dash. That's the only time you're going to see it initially until it's thrown. What's going to happen? It's in auto launch. So I'm going to throw it. And then as soon as it's thrown and it starts to leave, you saw briefly the same symbol as this one here, which said, I'm actually at the home location. And now the arrow is pointing back towards the home location as it moves away from me. And it's going to climb very quickly. This is all happening on auto launch. And then I move the sticks and it's gonna come out of auto launch. And we're still pretty much flying away from ourselves. However, I have banked very gently left. So you can see here that it's still pointing back. If I turn around so this arrow is pointing forwards, I'm flying towards the home location. So let's see how that works. So again, still flying away from home, pretty much on a straight line. So the arrow isn't gonna change. And we can see here that I'm just doing a bit of auto level trim. And as I start to bank, you will see this arrow start to rotate until it gets to about here. And it's turned a nice green. And that means that I'm actually looking, pointing in the direction of home. And that's about right, because I'm stood about here somewhere. So it's telling me that I am absolutely pointing towards my home location. If I continue to fly towards my home location, you can see I'm flying directly towards home because the arrow is pointing up in front of us. And we can see that the distance is starting to count down. So now we're into 820 feet, 750 feet. But as I fly closer, as I'm stood here, you'll see that the arrow, as I turn again, is going to turn around. So at this point, once again, I'm 
the home location is pretty much directly behind me, actually behind and slightly to the left, as I continue to fly here. Now I'm flying away from myself, but that arrow is still pointing back to that home location. And as I turn here, you can see that it's starting to gently turn around and it's starting to go greener and greener until eventually I'm actually pointing directly and flying back to myself. Well, almost because I'm slightly to the left of where I'm stood. And watch what happens as I fly past myself. You'll see the arrow swing around as I go around myself. So here I am, I'm flying towards myself and now it's going to swing all the way around as I continue to turn, but it's always pointing the way home. So the way to use this is that direction to home arrow will give you an idea of which direction is home if you get it so that it's pointing directly up or forwards. And in this particular version of Sneaky OSD custom fonts, it goes nice and green. Then you are flying directly back to your home location. So Andy, hopefully that explains it a little bit. That is how it works. It's an incredibly useful thing to have. So if you ever lose orientation in a new flying spot, you can just make the arrow point so it's in the same direction that you're flying. And that means that you're flying back to where you are. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.